Hi everybody, Scott here from Thousand Islands Kayaking in Gananoque, Ontario. I'm here to show you today how to empty a flooded kayak in the event of a capsize or if you take on water when you're paddling throughout the day. Two really important pieces of equipment that you should have with you are a Coast Guard required bailing device on your kayak and a spray skirt that's going to help prevent any water flooding your kayak when you're paddling out in rougher water conditions. Today I'm going to show you a few techniques to empty a flooded kayak. This is an important skill as any water in your boat will significantly reduce your stability and limit your maneuverability, making it quite challenging to stay upright and get where you need to go. Flooded kayaks are also very heavy, so using these techniques will help prevent injury to yourself while lifting your boat. If you are close to shore and have safe landing conditions, keep things simple by paddling or swimming your boat to shore to dump the water out. Once on shore, there is no need to lift your boat completely out of the water and potentially injure your back. Find a place with solid footing. Lift from the bow while keeping the stern of the kayak in the water and rotate it. It will get lighter as the water spills out, allowing you to lift a little higher until it is completely empty. From there, pull your bow slightly onto shore so the slope of your kayak creates a puddle of water behind your seat against the bulkhead. This will make it easier for you to pump or sponge and get those last drops out. Take the time to check your hatches and ensure they are dry and properly sealed. Remember, any water in your boat will reduce your stability, which is even more important now that you are wet, cold, and possibly more nervous about getting back on the water. I hope you enjoyed learning how to empty a flooded kayak. It will keep you safe on your adventures. Learn more paddling skills at paddlingmagazine.com. Watch The Canoe, an award-winning film that tells the story of Canada's connection to water and how Ontario is enriching the lives of those who paddle there. Visit CanadianCanoeCulture.ca